In this episode, we set out on our thousand mile sailing passage to Canada. Initially, we encounter steep waves and choppy seas off Beaufort, North Carolina, but offshore conditions mellow out considerably. We make incredible speed thanks to the Gulf Stream and choose to navigate through it to optimize its effect as we continue northward. And thanks to favorable winds, enjoy a comfortable and easy ride. We were motor sailing this morning. Um, as you can see, the wind is gonna come way down. Um, we opted to just pull out our jib right now in Maine uh, to save the fuel. So it looks like we'll be motoring from six o'clock tonight all the way through to 11 o'clock. So like 36 hours. So we opted to set sail again, even though it's slow, save some diesel. The kind of cool thing though is even though we'll be motoring and I have it loaded in our um, program here that we motor at four knots, you can see the speed over ground is going to be close to eight um, because the Gulf Stream. Once we get in the main part of the stream here, we will be getting a four knot boost. So even though it'll be light, we'll still be making good progress towards our destination. Um, it's actually kind of ideal to be in the Gulf Stream in light air because you know if all that current moving it could be choppy. So. It looks like it's going to work out pretty well. And it is an absolutely gorgeous sunset. It's very, very pink and fluffy. kind of having a later dinner here but I'm all off schedule because I stayed up most of the night last night um, but you can see 
We're going eight knots right now, which is very fast for our boat, and that is because of the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream is this right here, this yellow thing. And we were just looking at the charts. It looks like we've made a lot of progress today. We have gone 150 miles since we left. Our boat is where that green dot is right there. You can see we're right off Norfolk, Virginia. So we're almost, we're at, almost out of North Carolina, almost into Virginia. And um, over the next day, I guess tomorrow, we're going to figure out which route we're going to take. Because if we go east, we can pick up more of the Gulf Stream. But our ley line is the straight line, so that means that's like the direction we're going to Halifax. So we have to decide what we're going to do and see, because it is a huge um, speed boost. So we don't have to make that decision for about 70 miles. So for tonight, I have a pretty easy, pretty easy watch. I'm just going to look out for squalls, check the horizon for boats. I'm still just trying to kind of get into the groove. It usually takes me about three days, unlike Bill, who seems to just spring into seafaring action immediately. So I'm feeling a little bit off right now. Um, not hugely energetic, so I think I'm probably going to curl up, make myself a little bed, and watch a movie. And that is my plan. So I've just woken up, it is noon, I had uh, the night watches again, just chilling here with my, my bunny <laughs> in my berth, and I'm having some coffee um, because the motion is amazing. This is like the, one of the best sales we've ever had. It's super light. How do we explain what we think is happening here? Like it, we've been in 20 knots of wind, but it feels like we're on a skating rink. It's perfectly still. And we think it has something to do with the current, right? Yeah, we're not sure. I mean, we were, <laughs> we were blow, it was blowing. I mean, right now it's light. It's only blowing six knots true, but the last 48 hours it's blowing 25 true, but the waves were just kind of knocked down. Um, I'm not sure if it was running with the Gulf Stream. I know if you're in the Gulf Stream and the wind's out of the north, it's like a choppy nightmare. Maybe if the wind goes with the current, it kind of knocks down the waves, I don't know, but we haven't been in more than like five or six foot waves the entire yeah, trip. The yeah. worst is the beginning, like right off the uh, Yeah, so. having some debrief talk from last night, from last night since um, we were switching on and off watch probably every three hours. We're often too tired to talk. How many miles have we gone in total now? Um, let me see here. I started my Navionics track a day and 17 hours ago, offside of Cape Lookout, okay. and we covered 277 miles for an average of 6.7 knots. That's awesome. Yeah. So we are we about a third done? Uh, a quarter. I think it's about a thousand miles, right? Yeah. Sorry, we're about a quarter. On a run line, it's going to be 963. Oh, about a third. Amazing. Go Gulf Stream. I never thought I would say that. We just made a turn uh, almost due east. We're following the Gulf Stream. So we left from here, Cape Lookout. Um, we made our way northeast into the current and we rode up here and we actually just made this turn east. We're going to follow this because um, as you can see the wind is very very light. Uh, true wind's only 4.7 knots and it's actually out of the north now. Uh, a cold front that came through or a low pressure so it actually worked out perfectly to have, uh, you know, a north wind here because we wouldn't even want to motor to, into that anyways and we might as well get this nice four and a half knot boost when we yeah. get over there. So that was a pretty easy decision to make because I think I mentioned the other day that our, our ley line is this yellow guy here. That line, yep. So in theory we could have just kind of gone straight but yeah, so we're gonna go... making this right turn into the Gulf Stream works well for the wind and also gives us a boost which we really need in these light wind conditions. So two, yeah. two great reasons to choose to make a bit of a right hand turn. Yep, um, and then I guess we continue on the ley line from here, from this point. So we'll pick up, you know, it goes back northeast. Right. Um, we'll be in no current. Then it's picking up this little bit of an eddy here, and then we're clear. It's just kind of... And that is? That's Nova Scotia. And look at the sea temp changes. So you can see the Gulf Stream, it's a red hot part, temperature wise it's 80, in 80, we're supposed to be in 83, which we are 83.3, 83.2. Okay. 
Um, but once we get up here, oh, wow. <laughs> water is 50 degrees. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like all this 58. Oh, I just felt a shiver just thinking about it. It's the Bay of Fundy right here. I guess all the cold water rushes out of there. This is nice. Yes, Are we, this is nice feels like sailing. we're barely moving. Nice sailing is when it feels like you're not really sailing at all. I'm getting a mooring right now. <laughs> yeah. But we're doing six and a half knots. That's the amazing thing about this right. Gulf Stream right exactly. now. Exactly. Maybe I've never like man. drifted, but oh, drifted at it. six and a half knots. So as you can see, it is dead calm out here. Um, there is a little bit of breeze, just not in the right direction for us to sail. So we do have the mainsail out um, just to balance us out and pick up what small amount of breeze we can, but we're motoring. Um, good news is that Winston is working, our autopilot. So, all's well that ends well. Things are really going well here, mid passage. And uh, yeah, in the next 100 miles or so, we should be out of the Gulf Stream and expect the temperatures to come way down. So, really looking forward.